Suppose we wish to conduct a test on the difference between two population proportions. Let's go ahead and say that we draw simple random samples from the two populations and we have this information provided. And suppose we also believe that population 1's proportion is greater than population 2's proportion. In order to conduct the test on the calculator, we begin by hitting stat and then highlighting tests and scrolling down until you get to two prop Z test. Now the information that we need to provide is as follows. The number of successes from the first sample, and this must be an integer value, and then the sample size from the first sample. Then we have the number of successes for the second sample, and again this must be an integer value, and then the sample size of the second sample. And then we have our alternate hypothesis, and then we have the commands to either calculate or draw the results. So we'll go ahead and enter in the information we have. The number of successes can always be determined by the proportion times the sample size. And here we see that we do not have an integer value. So we will adjust this a little bit uh, by using standard rounding rules. And change that to 69. Then we'll enter in our sample size from the first sample. And then we'll go ahead and compute the number of successes for the second sample by taking the sample proportion and multiplying by the sample size. And again, here we do not get an integer value, so we'll have to make a slight adjustment. And we'll go ahead and use standard rounding rules to make this adjustment. And have 113 for the number of successes. And then the sample size for the second sample, 235. We will select our alternate. and We believe that P1 was greater than P2 and then we'll calculate. Now the results are, that are being displayed go as follows. We have the alternate hypothesis, we have the test statistic, then we have the p-value, and then we have the sample 1 proportion, the sample 2 proportion, and then we have a pooled sample proportion that's used in computing the test statistic. And this is uh, an averaging of the proportions together. And the arrow indicates there's more information, so we'll scroll down. And we see that we have the sample sizes for each sample. And if we wish to have a picture of the situation, we can ask the calculator to produce one as well. And here's how. You go ahead and hit Stat, Highlight Tests, and scroll down to 2 Prop Z Test again. And then we scroll down to the bottom. And instead of having the calculator calculate, we highlight draw and hit enter. Now the test statistic is listed, the p-value is listed, and this shaded region under the curve is the p-value. The amount of area under this curve is represented by the p-value. The test statistic tells us where to start shading, so the test statistic is right where it starts shading, and then the alternate hypothesis tells us in which direction. We chose a right side of test, so it, so it shades to the right of the test statistic, and that is what the p-value is. And this is how you may conduct a two-proportion z-test on the calculator.